Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Um, now, sticking with Brexit, as we tend to, here's something you might not have heard Jacob say before. Nobody voted to be made poorer. It's time for a second referendum. Now, that wasn't, as you may have worked out, the real Jacob Rees-Mogg, but our own very poor attempt at a type of fake video, which is becoming increasingly common. Here's an example of what's called a deep fake, a clip of what happens to be Barack Obama, what appears to be We're Barack entering Obama. an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. So, uh, for instance, they could have me say things like, uh, I don't know, Killmonger was right, or uh, Ben Carson is in the sunken place. Well, that had me for a bit. So that was slightly more convincing than our version. And to tell us more about how all this works is The Guardian's Alex Hearn. Welcome to the programme. Um, Alex, we obviously showed a clip of uh, Jacob there that wasn't mm. convincing um, at all. How do you make a deep fake? Um, what do you actually do? Um, so it's a particular application of a technology called machine learning. What you do is, in, in very short terms, you teach an AI system what one person looks like and what another person looks like on quite a deep level. And you then tell the system to generate a new video, replacing its understanding of the first person's face with the second. You are, you are face swapping. Right. But, I mean, people have been doing fake political videos, haven't mm -hmm. they, for quite a while. So what's... What's particularly different and potentially dangerous about this? It's the ease. So there was one particular uh, app that was produced at the beginning of this year in January uh, that, that called itself Fake App. And what it was is it was a consumer-friendly bundle of all of these technologies, which uh, the, the, these machine learning technologies, which have been around for sort of three or four years, it bundled them together into something that you could run on a desktop computer at home using a Windows operating system. You could feed in not just sort of thousands of hours of labor carefully positioning 3D models, mm. but just a, a load of videos that you pulled from, say, the BBC to one end to teach it what a particular person looks like, and then one normal clip at the other. Hit go, wait about eight hours, and get something out the other end that looks professionally made. Right, so you really can do it yourself. Let's just have a look here, because um, you had a go at doing one yourself, didn't yes. you, of Theresa May. How did you find it? <laughs> I mean, uh, we're looking at it now. So this is this is Theresa May's uh, face swapped with Margaret Thatcher's. Um, it was uh, quite quite a lot of trial and error to make. This is this is the big point. Right now, the the whole learning analogy is actually quite quite accurate. What you're dealing with is uh, agents which aren't simply programmed like computers. They are trained, and what that means is if you train them wrongly you end up with a, a nightmarish mishmash of faces and styles. You have to scrap the whole thing and start again. Right. In this case, it took me about two weeks of trial and error to get something that good, and that's right. not No, that and that's not good. that good, if you don't mind me <laughs> saying. Are you worried about this sort of technology? It's fascinating, isn't it? Because you can get people to say absolutely anything, mm -hmm. uh, and electorates will have to judge, I suppose. I don't think there's anything you can do to stop it. I don't think there's a regulation you could bring in that would prevent people doing it. And it will get easier and easier yeah. and you'll just have to think is that something that somebody could have said it's going to make it very hard for political journalists the problem is <laughs> oh no one ever thinks of the political journalists <laughs> who are you going to try next <laughs> oh god i don't know <laughs> don't worry you don't have to answer the question thank you for coming in thank today you. thank you for being uh, my thank guest you. of the day jacob rees -Mogg. <laughs>